our morning rounds, how artificial intelligence could help some patients avoid a breast cancer misdiagnosis. While mammography is currently the most effective and recommended breast cancer screening tool, the National Cancer Institute says mammograms still miss about 20% of breast cancers and one in 10 women receive a false positive result. A recent study also found false positive breast biopsies cost the healthcare system more than $2 billion a year. Jamie Yukis spoke with researchers at Google and UCLA who have developed artificial intelligence programs to help better diagnose breast cancer and mammograms and biopsies. I was absolutely floored. My mouth dropped. Tears came to my eyes. You have breast cancer were words Julianne Major never thought she'd hear. But what was even more shocking was that despite diligent annual mammograms, her cancer was never detected. My doctor told me my cancer was present for at least a decade. I had many mammograms during that decade and not a single mammogram even after we knew that I had cancer detected the cancer cells. After discovering a lump during a self-exam, Major's cancer was confirmed by an MRI. You know, without hesitation, I immediately said, I'll have a double mastectomy. Major is one of the thousands of women who every year receive a false negative mammogram. They tell me that there's a chance that they needed to do a biopsy. Norma Vaccarano received a different kind of shock. After a routine mammogram, she was told she needed more testing and could possibly have breast cancer. I'm hyperventilating at that point. I was completely devastated. I couldn't hear what the doctors were telling me. You just heard that you might have breast cancer and everything else went out the window. Went out the door. Vaccarano had to wait two weeks for her biopsy results. Thank you that it came out false. It turns out like one in 10 women in the U.S., she had originally gotten a false positive result and in fact did not have cancer. When training the AI system, we fed it tens of thousands of example mammograms just like this one. To combat misdiagnoses, Shravya Shetty and her team at Google developed an artificial intelligence system to assist doctors and pathologists to accurately detect cancer in mammograms. This was not something that we trained the system on, but when we showed it this example, it identified that here is a potential suspicious region, here is one, and it turns out that in this case, this was cancerous. Shetty says their AI model reduced false positives by almost 6% and false negatives by about 9% and caught suspicious tissues on mammograms missed by the human eye. Mammograms are the best studied. Dr. Joanne Elmore, a professor of medicine at UCLA, is the brain behind an artificial intelligence program that helps correctly diagnose breast biopsies. Would it be a faster diagnosis? or what? Oh, yes. Yeah, it would be much faster. <laughs> yes. The computer was trained to recognize patterns of 240 breast biopsy images. And while still in the testing phase, the system is yielding promising results. In one test, the AI program outperformed doctors by close to 20% better accuracy. Once a woman has a biopsy, the tissue is obtained. And this is an example of what the tissue can look like. I took the same exact glass slide of this and sent it to 27 different pathologists in the U.S. They independently interpreted it, and of the 27, only 13. Only 13 came back with the right diagnosis. Correct. That's a problem. It is a problem because we have such different recommendations for surveillance and treatment based upon that diagnosis. In the U.S., more than 42,000 people will die from breast cancer each year. It's a statistic that makes the promise of AI detection critical for patients like Major. I was told, and I believe, and I believe most women um, are told, the first line of defense is having a yearly mammogram, but the mammogram failed me. It failed me for a decade. For CBS This Morning, Jamie Yukis, Los Angeles. Dr. Susan Drossman is an interventional radiologist in New York who is using similar type of uh, intelligence to help screen patients for breast cancer. First and foremost, doctor, mammograms are still the most effective way to detect breast cancer? Mammograms are still our gold standard. They decrease mortality by about 40%, but they have limitations. Yeah. And those of us who are expert imagers know that in dense breasts, mammography does not do the whole job. We need additional help. So ultrasound or MRI is often used, but the promise of AI for the future or a computer-assisted detection system 
will definitely help us boost accuracy. You're using a computer assistive system. We are system. using a computer assistive system. How is it helping? It helps to draw the eye to particular regions. Mammography is very much pattern based. Mm -hmm. There are certain patterns that we look at, either an area of speculation or calcifications, and those we know need to be biopsied. So with an AI system, it is trained to look at patterns. And the more it's used, the better it learns. So it draws your eye to that particular area. Why is there not a single set of guidelines for women getting mammograms? I mean, it, the age recommendations are 40 to 55. Why, the, why that variation? So there is a lot of variability between different societies and institutions. Everyone agrees mammography saves lives. But there is variability as to when to start or how often to screen. And the problem is, is that in the younger group, the discussion really centers around the group in their 40s, because that's the group with dense breasts, like mm -hmm. this patient mm -hmm. who had annual mammography, but her breast cancer did not show up. That's a false negative. That's where we're doing our best work to use AI or supplemental tests like ultrasound to help us. How important are self-breast exams when trying to find out if you might have breast cancer early on? So I prefer not to call it self-breast exams. I like to say breast self-awareness mm -hmm. because knowing the texture, the density, the contour of the breast, your own personal breast, mm -hmm. is really helpful in being able to be your own advocates because between mammographies or when there is a dense breast with a false negative, if you could say, hey, I feel something, mm -hmm. it is very important to do. Mm -hmm. The AI technology we saw in, in Jamie's piece, you said is still experimental. It is that particular type is still experimental. Not, so how, how soon might, might it become more widely used? Well, they need to use it on patients, not just in, you know, in, a, in a setting where they're doing it, where they know that there is a breast cancer already diagnosed. They, we need to now do testing going forward. So I would say probably within the next year, this will interface into our workstation. Do these same recommendations and, and procedures, would they apply to men who are also at lower risk but do have a risk of breast cancer? Would it apply to them as well? So male breast cancer is very unusual, accounting for less than 1% of all breast cancer. So men are not in a regular screening protocol. And when male breast cancers present, they present as a firm, non-tender lump uh, behind the nipple, and usually those are much more advanced. Right. Okay. Dr. Susan Drossman, thank you so much for being with us thank this morning. Thank you so much.